Okay, so today in Adobe Flash CS5, we're going to be making a bouncing ball. Um, the first thing we need to do is make a ball, right? And if you're looking at the tools on the right-hand side, you're going to see there's no elliptical or circular or round tool at all. But there is one. Under the rectangle tool, to get there, you click and hold on the rectangle tool. You can select the oval tool. Now we need to draw our ball. So hold down the shift key, it'll make it nice and perfect. This works in Microsoft Word, works in Photoshop, it works in Paint, it works on Pages, it works in just about every program. You know, the ball looks good, but I want it to look more 3D. And so I'm gonna get rid of that turquoise fill and I wanna fill it in with a gradient. And to find the gradients, you click on the fill color and you're gonna see some down there. Now there are other gradients and if you wanna go find those, go right ahead, no problem. Um, so there, now I'm going to click on the paint bucket tool, and I'm just going to dump it in. There we go. Uh, okay, there, I like that. That looks good. And now it looks much more 3D, so it's going to add to the effect. Now, obviously, we're going to be moving the ball around a lot, um, and if we're not careful, we can slice it in half, and this is a very, very, very bad thing. We want to make sure we don't, we can't do this, so we're going to turn it into a symbol. So I'm going to select the entire ball. Make sure you draw a box around the whole thing. Don't just click on it. I'm going to right click and select convert to symbol. I'm going to give it a name. Uh, make sure that it's a movie clip and not a button. Make sure the registration is in the middle. I guess it could be anywhere. And then I'm going to click OK. And now we have a really nice red ball. All right, now that we have our ball, we need to make it bounce, right? So we're going to be doing the animation part. Um, we want it just to bounce on the ground one time and come right back up to where it stops. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the rulers, as you can see. Go to View, Rulers, and the reason why we're adding the rulers is now that we can add guidelines. So I'm just going to drag these guidelines here so we know exactly where to stop the ball when it comes back up. That's the only reason we're using it. Um, now, as you can see down here, this is our timeline. This is where our animation happens. Every, every frame, we're going to make the ball move a little bit, and we're going to turn on this. It's called Onion Skinning. It's right down there. And there you go. And now I'm going to hit F6 to add a keyframe. Now when I do that, I'm going to go ahead and move the ball. So move the so I'll hit move the ball a little bit and I'll hit F6. And if you're watching the timeline down there, you can see I just added my third one. I'm going to move it a little bit more in F6 and so forth and so on. Obviously the ball is going to accelerate as it gets closer to the ground, which is what I'm making it do. Um, and now that it hit, we're going to say the ground is here. And now we got to make the ball squish because when the ball hits the ground, it squishes, it compresses. So I'm going to click that. And as you can see, now you have these, you have these fine little anchor points all around the ball. And we can do whatever we want. We can squish it. We can make it thinner. We can make it skewed. So I'm going to make it squish. Now you may notice that the bottom of it moves up as well. So I'm going to make sure that I have the bottom set there and we'll squish it some more let's squish it more you know so i squish it hit f6 squish it hit f6 i think you guys see the pattern here and now i got it squished so i'm going to make sure that there we go i'm using the onion skinning of course that shows us where it was last frame and that looks about right hit f6 wait a minute here we go hold on okay there we go and now hit f6 and i'm going to make it again and just keep going on up. And as it gets closer to the top, it is going to slow down. So here we go, we're getting closer and closer. And when I get to that, we messed up there, I forgot to hit F6, there we go. Here we go, we're gonna keep going. Yes, almost done. And voila, now we have a ball. So we're gonna hit the Enter key to check it out, and it looks pretty good. And uh, we're done.